Hi, this is Meera Gandhi and welcome to my 5-minute podcast called 3 Tips. In these short podcasts, I share 3 tips on all matters of life in just about every topic or situation imaginable. I like to walk the talk and will share my real life experiences as I give you 3 easy tips to shift closer towards finding answers to things. Today we will talk about 3 tips on making friends. Friends are the refuge we find in the course of our journey of self-discovery. They are the bastions we rest our thoughts and feelings on when we are too tired to carry the weight alone. It is easy to define the value of friends based on how long we have known each of them, but time is relative. Whether you've had a friend for a moment or a lifetime, count their presence in your life as a true blessing. How do I make friends? Well, I love being with people of all ages, nationalities, countries and cultures. I love learning from all people, so I am open to listening and hearing without judgment. I think of myself like a child, capable of accepting all the innocence and purity that the moment has to offer. And in these instances, I make lasting friendships. I also trust my gut. If someone feels off, I just walk away. Opportunities for making friends are all around us. Meeting new people at airports, on buses, in planes, in lines, at restaurants, at conferences, at social clubs, at university gatherings, at the grocery store, any place for that matter is a wonderful opportunity to meet and make new friends on this planet. I remember when I once took a trip to Maui to visit my son Kabir. On the flight back to LAX, a slim, rather purposeful woman took a seat next to me. She was not inclined to talk too much, but being my usual self, I started talking to her and realized she was a very evolved human being. Anyway, it was clear she wanted to work on her laptop and not talk too much. But when she took a break, 3 hours into the flight, she initiated a conversation about siblings, unconditional love, being a teacher, and the importance of being a guide for anyone on the planet who might need guidance. Finally, something in me made me ask her, "Who are you?" It was both a spiritual inquiry as well as a, as well as a general one. She smiled and said humbly, "I'm Linda Woolworton and I write for Disney." Linda has written screenplays for Lion King, Beauty and the Beast, Alice through the Looking Glass, Aida, Malfison, to name a few. She has influenced generations of young people on the planet. I was overjoyed to meet and speak with her. Being open to all humans brings this sort of excitement to life. It is filled with love and the possibility of making another friend. at any moment i feel lucky to say that i tend to make lifetime bonds my parents brought me up with so much love and trust it makes it easy for me to foster long term friendships so in conclusion my three tips for making friends the first friendships should be unconditional and non transactional this makes for a very simple and pure friendship and it ends up generating generating a lot of happiness over a lifetime the second tip it is important to be able to support friends when they need your help at that moment you might not need anything back but that's okay help them nonetheless life is funny it's usually the friends that we have helped quietly along the way who will be waiting in the wings to help us should the need arise the third enjoy your friendships love all their quirks jokes music and yes laugh with your friends as much as you can it all makes for a glorious life journey and here's to your glorious life journey surrounded by friends i'm mira gandhi and this is three tips